the uh, Republican primary for South Carolina was held this past weekend, right? Saturday, a very special Saturday primary in South Carolina. Who was the big winner, Jared? Should we start with this talk? I think on the Republican front, the late breaking breaking news. Okay. okay. I think we should start with the Rand Paul talk. Okay. Okay. Rand Paul detained by the TSA. Is yeah. this a controversy? Is this not a controversy? A staunch opponent of the TSA, yeah, that's Rand right. Paul. Yeah. That's right. Father who says that this is the police state getting out of control. Yeah. Yeah. All he did was wanted to go back through the screening process, you know? And then they said, no, you can't go back through it again. We're taking you off and we're, putting, we're detaining you is what they did what they doing. Well, they didn't say they're detained. Right, right. The, the TSA refuses to admit that they detained him. So what, what would they call it then? Uh, well, they just asked him to step aside and out of the screening area. So that's like he was pretty much detained, right? And then that's what I think he uh -huh. was quoted as saying, you know, if, if he refused to let me leave uh -huh. a certain area, uh -huh. I, uh -huh. I'm pretty sure that's what you would call being detained. Yeah. And apparently he was in this little cubicle area. Yeah. And uh, they yelled at him, you know. He was like trying to leave, and they're like, "Don't leave the chemical." Sounds like sounds like uh -huh. detaining to me. Uh -huh. So they held him up, whatever, about an hour and a half. Wouldn't let him get off. Wouldn't get let him get on his plane. They got him on another plane. Yeah. He missed his he missed his speech to talk to the what was this march right to life march? Oh, okay, okay. On the mall in Washington D.C. Yeah. Hey, he was all excited. This is going to be the biggest crowd he ever got to talk to. Two hundred thousand people. wasn't wasn't meant to be. It wasn't. Maybe God really is for abortion. So that's what it sounds like to me. Hey, listen. From God's mouth to Eddie's ears and out his lips and. That's right. I I I am the vessel of the Holy Spirit. This is true. Yes. So, God obviously who let. Roe versus Wade go through yeah. 30 years ago. This is the anniversary of yeah. it. I heard Roe was actually at that march. Is she, that right? She, she is now a... Uh, she, she says she used to be a, a heathen or something to that effect. That she has seen the light, she uh -huh. has been born again, and now she knows the error of her ways. Here's a butt ice toast to you, Roe. Uh, I'm sure the you know the the Christian right paid her millions and millions of dollars to uh, you know come out against birth, uh, abortions. Oh, was Roe the? Uh, I guess she was on the abor pro abortion side back then. Yeah, yeah, she was the one. Yeah, the, uh, uh, yeah. I yeah. see. So she, that's good. She's seen error for ways. She has. She's come around. She she's been born again. Good for her. Good for her. Haven't we all? <laughs> at one point in our life. <laughs> um. I don't know. What else did I want to talk about on this? Oh, uh, you know, I, I really enjoyed the fact that Rand Paul now brings up another conspiracy theory as far as these screening, uh, what do you call these deals? The little... Uh-huh. The x-ray scanners? Yeah, the uh -huh. scanners. There uh -huh. we go. He says, he walked through and it beeped. Uh-huh. Why did it beep? Good question. And they say, oh, we're going to have to take the full body scan. He says, well, I don't want to take the full body scan. No, they want to do the body pat down, right? Right, well, yeah, well, yeah. right, right. you got to take the full body pat down. Oh, I don't want that. So uh -huh. somebody walk through the thing. And, no, 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 Because no. what are they hiding? The fact that if you walk through again, which he did later, uh -huh. it would go off. go off, right? So now he's you saying... You think someone pushed a button? Well, he's, button? he's, he's uh -huh. questioning, are these things set to go off after a certain amount of people? So just for the purposes of... Random, right. random screening. Did you hear this woman boarded the plane in BMW with the gun on her? <laughs> I did hear about that. So yeah, these, these scanners obviously are top of the notch <laughs> level uh, uh, safeguards. So we're letting we're letting random women on with guns and making sure that our U.S. senators don't get uh -huh. on because uh -huh. they're a threat to our fellow travelers. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, as I've asked this question before, and many people have raised this question as well, how many people and how many incidences have the TSA stopped? Zero, right? Oh, yeah, that's zero? right. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a big fat zero, and it's been about ten years now. Yeah. And they've caught nobody. They've stopped and foiled no plans. You think if there's a hot girl walking through that scanner, then they push the button and they can go off, so oh. they can go and pat her down real hard? Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, you know, I'm sorry. All the female TSA agents are out. Uh-huh. It uh -huh. always goes off when I go Come here. Come here. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. My wife, my wife, my wife just set the scanner off. Oh, you have to do a pat down here. Yeah, live on the show. We're gonna reenact. Always goes off. We're gonna reenact. This is Rand Paul here. You have to be on this. <laughs> I'm just making sure you don't have anything. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> 
the all the, the all role play TSA nice screener and airport attendant. We do. Yeah. <laughs> a little too much. <clears throat> well, yeah, yeah. We've we filmed several home videos under the guise of <laughs> TNA TSA. Uh huh. Uh huh. Anyway, uh, that was just a quick reenactment. Um. So yeah. Uh, Rand Paul, uh, son of Ron Paul, who, who who finished fourth in the uh, the primary in South Carolina. Okay. Fourth place, yeah. yeah. And he's picking up steam, as ten, he always tells you. He's ten percent, twelve percent. Yeah, he's, he's getting momentum for the cause, right? He's gaining that momentum, you know, and yeah. letting everybody surge right past him. Yeah. <sighs> Can we give up on Ron Paul fever? Yeah. I don't think Ron Paul's going to give up until they make him give up. I think it's going to keep on running until they ha- until they hold the uh, the caucus. I'm talking to all the YouTubers out there, the 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 crux of the Ron Paul campaign. Yeah. Can we give up yeah. on that now? Yeah. I tried telling you guys months ago, Ron Paul 2012 wasn't meant to be. It ain't going to happen. Especially with all the media against him. Uh, you know, uh, Santorum said he's the only one of the, you know, of, of the two other people, he's the only one that supports, you know, the Constitution and that type of stuff. Nobody paid attention to Ron Paul. He was kind of an afterthought, it seems like. Do you still hate Santorum as much as you did? I do. I do. Okay. He, uh, he, he finished third, I think, yeah. Okay. Newt, Newt came in first, and Romney came in second. Romney said he's, he's going to stop playing defense, and now he's going to start playing offense. Who said that? Uh, Romney did. <laughs> he, he, he's I already, hate you, Romney. He's already attacked Newt uh, uh, personally and politically uh, for all of his ethic concerns. So uh, I, know, I know Mitt Romney's a big... Fan of this show, he is. I just want to let you know, I hate you, Mitt Romney. Shut up. Uh, I hate Mitt Romney. I hate Gingrich. Yeah. You hate Santorum. Nobody has hate for Ron Paul. It's just no. this uh, weak persona. Right. Everybody right. considers him this weak, frail. You know, like I told you, I was really, I was really upset to see the picture of all four of them on the stage holding their. Hands on their hearts. Probably. Rom- Romney uh-huh, and Gingrich uh-huh. and Santorum. And then Ron Paul is like... <laughs> he can't lift his hand up past his chest. This real frail, like his hand was bent in like three positions. Yeah. You know, it's really awkward. You know, the yeah. guy the guy might have a good mind. The guy... Whatever. But he's he's not the guy. I'm telling you. He's got a lot... He says a lot of the right things, but he's yeah. not all the way there. Look to look to a Eddie or a Jeremiah if you really want the future of yeah. this country. We're, we are we will say all the right things and we're open minded. I think Ron Paul will say all the right things, states' rights, this and that. But when it comes down to what those states vote for, I don't think Ron Paul's going to vote where you need him to vote. No, no, he's pro-abortion, uh, uh, anti- anti-abortion. Yeah, yeah, anti-abortion, anti-immigration. He's pro-anti-abortion. Right, right, right. <laughs> um, yeah, so so. Ron Paul, as much as, much as I love his uh, his back to state rights uh, attitude, uh, it's probably not aligned with uh, me and, and obviously with you either. Yeah, you know, I've said it plenty of times. I I was a believer of Ron Paul in 08, but uh, you know, this time around, it just doesn't feel right. Yeah, it's not meant to be. I, I also have a problem with his uh, his his weird humor. Like whenever they uh, you know cut cut. In the debates, whenever they come over to him, finally ask him a question, and he's all, "Oh, finally, you want a doctor to answer the question?" Uh-huh. Yeah, it's just, it just kind of comes was, off kind of insane. There was a lot of that. Yeah, maybe he's yeah. the new John Huntsman trying to <laughs> make the awkward humor angle. Yeah. Oh well. Can I, here's what I'm upset about. Yeah. How the hell did New Green Grinch, New New Green Grass, uh-huh. win first place, and probably about to win first place in Florida? Yeah. When his ex-wife came out and exposed him for the philandering... You know, that's, that's the liberal media giving giving this woman a, a, a platform. Oh, you're right. If that's it wasn't right. for ABC being you know, a, a right-wing hating uh, station, mm-hmm. they, they wouldn't have had this woman mm-hmm. on there. Why now? Yeah. Why would they do this now? Why would, let's rally around it. So just because ABC... News decided to take advantage of this story now. Yeah. Let's rally around him. Yeah. Just because they're going after him, he should be the president. Yeah. Um, I can guarantee you Newt will not be Barack Obama in a presidential election. All this bullshit. I love to debate him Lincoln Douglas style. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Three hour. All, new, all, all Obama has to bring up is, is, is a uh, Fannie Mae uh, or Fannie Mac, whatever it's called. 
But shouldn't Newt only have to bring up his his limousine uh, gay prostitute? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on, people. Let's stop voting for these people. I don't have any any gay prostitutes in my limousine snorting coke off my CD case on my lap. I don't have any open marriage proposals. I don't have... I've never left a woman on her deathbed. Uh-huh. You know, just because I'm not 35, should that keep me back from being the president, really? Like... Let's write in ballots. Let's write in my name. I, I, I'm better than any of these people, and I don't even care about the future of this country. Uh, you don't care about the future of this country? Uh, not really. Okay. At least I'll at least I'll admit it. These uh-huh. people don't care. They just care about their personal self and ego. Yeah. Uh, but they but they lie to you. You know, I put out a new Gingrich video this week. I I uh, very popular new Ging- uh-huh. Gingrich video. Yeah. Uh huh. The the breaking the thousand view mark, Newt Gingrich video of his wife on ABC with my special commentary, and uh, you know I got a lot of I got several comments on there. People just number one, he's better than Obama. Now then somebody else, well, because I said don't vote in there, they say well, you have you know don't say don't vote because Obama's doing the best that he can, and they say well Gingrich is a repentant man. At least he's, you know, you're a sinner too, and right. why can't? How long are you gonna hold the grudge for? Like, when when is when is America gonna wake up and realize that these politicians are all disgusting? They they all tell you that they're repentant. They all tell you they believe in God. They all tell you right. that they ask for forgiveness because that's what you want to hear, dumb face. Hey, stupid! They're just telling you what you want to hear, yeah. and you should be more insulted that they keep. Telling you what you want to hear. If you didn't believe it before Obama became president, I think Obama is all you really need to look at. Obama promised X, Y, and Z and has delivered none of it. Uh, he promised immigration reform. He promised uh, health care reform. He promised, you know... Well, those troops are coming home as soon as he became president, right? Right, right, right. Yeah. Guantanamo Bay is going to be closed right, down. Right, exactly. The minute, yeah. he, the minute he got in office, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, you, you have to question all these political leaders, you know, when... when not one of them has ever lived up to the promises on the campaign, so, you know, just J- how it goes. JFK was the last president you had, and it's the last president you'll ever have. Yeah. As long as Goldman Sachs has anything to say about it. Goldman Sachs, who's backed up Obama, number one financial supporter of Obama, donation-wise, number one donator to Mitt Romney. What does that tell you? They don't care who's who wins. They've... they've They've got everybody. Yeah. They're playing all the strings, you stupid freaking... I'm, I'm getting really angry, I'm sorry. Come on. I can't, I can't talk re- Republican, Democrat. It just doesn't make sense, people. Wake up. So, um, yeah, Newt got the huge win in South Carolina. Uh, looks like Paul's done. Looks like it's between Newt, Santorum, and Romney. I'm going to guess uh, Santorum... Drops out after the next couple of states, yeah. And it's probably going to be Romney and Newt at the end. Hmm. Hmm. The the Republicans are desperate for anybody besides Romney. What do you make of the fact that your Santorum has won, Uh you know, these first three primaries? Santorum, I guess Mitt won the first one. Santorum won the second one. Now Gingrich won the third. They've all three won one. And I I think it's the first time that's ever happened or, you know... Since way back when that's that it's happened, uh, I think all bets are off. I wouldn't I wouldn't put it out of the realm to see Santorum make a make a, a, a late surge here. You know they say South Carolina is the you know president maker or at least the nominee maker. Yeah. I don't see Gingrich being the nominee. So if it's not Gingrich and he won, I, I really think all bets are off. Santorum could surge, yeah, or Mick could keep a stranglehold. Tonight, yeah. Go ahead. It, it's honestly going to be one of the three. I, I I hope it's not Newt or Santorum. I'm okay with Romney if Romney gets the nomination, um, but Newt and Santorum would would equal you destruction. Wanna me, do you want to you want to enlighten our viewers on your reason why you don't mind Romney? Uh, he? I think he's a level-headed guy. Like uh, he, he he's pro business. He has a, a a business track record. I spent time know. in the private sector. <laughs> he he has. Um, I, you know, so 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 com- compared to, to to Romney and I, I mean compared to Newt and to Santorum, Romney really isn't that bad in my opinion. Yeah, I mean you know the guy who has two hundred fifty dollar you know dollars in his bank account, 
certainly has me in mind uh-huh. and all my interests. Uh-huh. You, you think Neuter Santorum does? No, I don't think any of them do. So I'm I saying up, up I don't three. think you need to vote. I, that's why I'm not voting. I refuse to vote. Did I say I was going to vote for Romney? When you're given garbage, you don't vote for any of them. Uh-huh. You take uh-huh. that garbage out. But I'm saying up to three, Romney, I, I think Newt and Santorum would equal, like I said, destruction for this country. So if it happens to be Romney, I'll be okay with that, but I definitely do not want to see uh, Newt or Santorum on there. Maybe you're right, because deep down, we all know that Romney agrees with abortion. We all exactly. know. Exactly. His health care thing, he, 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 he was uh, public uh, health care. We all know Romney wants to take yeah. care of everybody. But that's the, the reason, that, that's the reason why the Republicans don't want Romney to be the, the, the guy, because he is pro-abortion and pro-public uh, health care. So, uh, so yeah, so, so I... I, I really don't have a problem with Romney. My, my problem is with Newt and Santorum. So you heard it from Eddie. Vote for... I didn't say that. Vote for Romney's hair. I didn't say that. He did say that. I didn't say that. So you heard it from Jared. Vote for Santorum. The guy who wants to uh, put all the gays in concentration camps. The guy who wants to, uh, you know, uh, give the country all kinds of power over the people and, and destroy civil liberties. That's the guy that Jared is going Santorum, for. Santorum, 2012 to 2020. Yeah. Let's make yeah. it happen. Yep. Yeah.